blood stain dollars or love stain dollars, a case for community reparations and redistribution. Blood stain dollars or love stain dollars. As you sit in mental confusion, in mental confusion, which your access to hoarded or inherited wealth or Mama Earth land, from CDs to wealth managers to stock market growth, from real estate snakes, developers, and speculator handshakes and endless checks wrote, Here's my offer to love your way out of that sickness before you go broke. That mental break, not in dollars, but in love, spirit, and in your deep soul place. My offer is not to suggest or uplift the same old quest. Where should I put my money? Over here, sir. Over here, ma'am. You know that one you rich folks always get but rather to flip the whole perspective on its head, to engage in love-stained dollars, one must change the gaze back to you instead. If you have more than you need to survive, a place to sleep that's stable inside, clothes on your back and shoes on your feet, one car or bike for transport, and healthy food for you and your family to eat, The scarcity, the sickness that makes you want more is in your head and part of the capitalist, exploitive, extractive war on us poor. You see, to be one who has more than they need is to be one who is living inside an undiagnosed mental illness called greed. Even those of you who wouldn't claim this disease, those of you who are conscious and loving, but still believe that you own occupied stolen Mama Earth and who engage in any kind of overuse of dollars instead of redistribution. Try to look through my eyes and see. We have all been sold this lie because there is money to be made from keeping up this disguise. Lies that Mama Earth should be bought and sold, that we need more than one home to stay out of the cold, that we need three boats, three cars, and a mobile home. And now we are rich. We have made it. We own shit. We bold. No beautiful conscious people open to something new or you wouldn't be here with me. Love stained dollars is Po Mama's reparation fund liberating more land than you need to live on, selling, redistributing those extra cars and boats so peoples who have nothing can stay out of the cold. Today's podcast from a poverty scholar is this unhoused, formerly unhoused, and still in trauma mama and daughter, humbly sharing my wealth of experience about having nothing. My wealth of experience about struggle. My wealth of experience, my poverty scholarship about barely keeping a roof over me and my baby's head. That tip. Food in our bellies and being left for dead. It's my plea to folks with an inherited or stolen or hoarded wealth or land to see that, guess what, we aren't that different us so-called rich and us so-called poor and those of us without land. But in fact, the antidote for each other's pain lives in a beautiful river called redistribution from human to humane, engaged in similar struggles but from different parts of the same game. For tech industry folks who inadvertently displaced working class elders and families by taking their homes, raising their rents, leaving them with nothing but tents. Tech reparation funds are the answer, folks. Redistributing equity to those who have never had any is an act of revolutionary hope. For folks who have made their dollars or inherited your wealth on the buying and selling of Mama Earth, 
Your medicine is in the purchase of redistribution of land for folks whose homes were speculated, displaced, evicted, and now call a criminalized tent on the street a home. And in the end, if you have inherited or hoarded wealth or Mama Earth land, your medicine is to redistribute to people who have neither. And in this way, those blood-stained dollars, stained with so much blood of loss, of pain, of poverty, of shame, of exploitation and extraction, of incarceration of our poor black, brown, indigenous lives, leading to your gain, can be lifted off into love-stained dollars of change. So for those of us listening, for those of you hearing my voice, join us, if you can, in the Stolen Land Hoarded Resources Tour this Friday, October 19th at 1 p.m. at the corner of Trestle Glen and Lakeshore in the occupied Lashan Ohlone village of Wichin, a.k.a. Oakland, as we share the medicine of redistribution of stolen and hoarded wealth and land. If you can't join us, but would like to learn more about the Landless People's Land and Housing Community Reparations Fund that's helping to fund homefulness, Auntie Francis, uh, Self-Help Hunger Program, the Sigourte Land Trust, Fromm's Martial Arts, Manna from Heaven, and so many more, or the Poe Mamas Fund, or the Tech Reparations Fund, Email us at poormag at gmail.com. And for those of you listening, just know that I'm holding you in your heart. I'm holding up the possibility that those bloodstained dollars will become love-stained dollars. Tell you something.